All right, welcome along to Here's Rodder's Reviews. We're getting on to a TV show that you need to check out as soon as you can. Now, I've been trying to find the box set of it for the last couple of weeks. I can't get it for love and their money. So if you do know where I can get hold of a box set, DVD, preferably uh, in the UK, let me know. The show is crazy like a fox. This only ran for two seasons uh, 1984, I want to say this came out, 1984, ran for two seasons, um, for 35 episodes, that's a great, great show, now when this first came out, I was five years old, five or six years old, something like that, um, I've got next to near no memory of it whatsoever, now my brother and I, we do sit down and watch shows, every evening for dinner and we do the classics you know Dukes of Hazard, Starsky and Hutch all that sort of thing uh, but we do come across some of these little gems now he's a bit older than what I am so he remembers this sort of stuff from the first time around and you know watching it back now there is some parts of it that jump out to me uh, a little bit of the intro I'm starting to remember now and there was an episode the other night where the, the kid on it was roasting marshmallows in the fireplace and I can do remember whenever I was a kid about five, six years old tormenting my parents to get marshmallows so I could toast them at the fireplace uh, this is probably where I got the idea of it from so the show itself is a comedy detective show really and it stars uh, Jack Warden as Harry Fox and a, John Rubenstein as his son Harrison Fox so that's where the name comes from crazy like a fox uh, the show starts off like all those shows that back in the day you could jump into it at any point and really pick up the vibe of what the show was always so far in this we're nearly at the end of season 2 it's going to break my heart to get the end of this because I'm having a great time of it but usually standalone stories for the most part and this so far, and it always starts off, phone call to start, you see this desk, you hear Harrison, the son, saying hello, on the other end of the phone you hear his father, Harry, saying, Harrison, I need your help, to which Harrison replies, Dad, you keep forgetting, I'm a lawyer, you're the detective, and then we cut over to his office, uh, he's a private investigator, and he says, oh come on son, all I need is a ride, what could possibly go wrong? Or what could possibly happen? And then we get into the opening credits of it. Throughout the series, it's a very simple idea. The father, Harry Fox, as a private investigator, his son as a lawyer, uh, San Francisco, it's based on uh, the main players in this, as these two guys, along with... Penny Paisner, Paiser as Harrison's wife and Robbie Keeger as his son. But throughout the season there's there's a a case that the, the father, Harry, will get and always without fail his son Harrison gets pulled into it with hilarious results most of the time. Now it's a comedy it's a drama comedy. It's one of those sort of deals where it's very, it can be very incredibly serious at times, but it does have that light-hearted humour running throughout it. But there's a few episodes on there that it would really, you know, there's a few of them would, would drive you to tears at some point. You know, so some of them are very, each episode, though, honest to goodness, at this point of the series, nearly at the end of season two, I think it's criminal like it didn't get a third season now whether the wheels is going to fall off it in the last seven I think I've got seven episodes left to watch unless the wheels come off it in a major major way in these last seven episodes in my humble opinion up to this point there hasn't been a single bad episode in it yet it's been very very good and it's one of those shows that like, back in the day that it was like these days, it's difficult to get shows that have 
even a few decent episodes on it, you know, um, not to point fingers at anything, but, uh, you know, back in the day, these shows from, this was 84, a lot of the shows around that time, 80s, late 70s and whatnot, a lot of them were fantastic, and I don't know why this series didn't get the real recognition that some of the other shows got. Now, I've said that about Hardcastle and McCormick as well. This was in and around about the same time. And just talking about it now, I can kind of recall that I was watching a show as a kid with my older brother and my family and whatnot and been not happy that I had finished. But I do recall Hardcastle and McCormick been their replacement for that show. So I'm thinking now that show was crazy like a fox. It had to be. And as I say, just watching it now for the first time at 45 years old. First time I've seen it since 1985, 86 probably. Starting, to just there's parts of it are jumping out at me and loving it. Great, great episode. Now, it's one of these shows too. Uh, you know, it's a detective drama, comedy drama sort of a thing. But it's one of these shows that the writing in it is so good that it does catch you out a lot. Now, I've watched a lot of TV shows over the years. I am content to sit in my big, fat backside and watch shows from morning to night if I had the opportunity to do it. And, you know, because of that, for most part, I'm watching shows. I'm usually getting to the end of the show before the storyline does, you know, that's giving you bits and pieces and you kind of figure out where it's going before it gets there. I have to say now, hand and heart, crazy like a fox, there hasn't been a single show yet that I've actually, well, there's been one that I've gotten to before the story wants you to get there. It's very good at the bait and switch of the whole thing. And just with the, the humour of the thing, the opening episode of the series has this guy that is a, a client of Harry Fox, the, the father, the detective, who has hired him to find his wife. And when Harry finds his wife, the guy asks, do you know a good lawyer? Now, this is all from the first few minutes of the the episode, the opening pilot episode. And, of course, Harry sends him to Harrison, his son, as a lawyer, recommends him. So this guy shows up, and the funny... It's, it's just one of these things uh, where the humour kind of doesn't cross the line, but it, it kind of goes to a place that, you know, you're not really expecting from time to time. So this guy shows up, and he asks Harrison, um, I have just got out of prison after having served time for murdering my wife. Uh, if I find out that she is still alive, can I get done for killing her now, sort of thing. So this is this guy does. He goes from Harrison or Harry fighting his wife to this lawyer to ask, you know, is there a double jeopardy thing here? Can I actually get away with this murder now, saying as I've served the time for it? So you know, there's a little bit of dark humour like that on it. And that opening episode is absolutely hilarious. And the two of these guys end up actually getting pulled in to protect this woman from her husband. But then there's a twist in that episode as well that I did not see coming. Fantastic, as I say, out of the what, 24 episodes, I think, and the first... Oh, well, I'm not going to... No, I don't think there was 24 in the first series. There's definitely 24 episodes in the second series, but everything in the first series had me beat. Like, I didn't get there before it wanted me to get there, and from season two, one of them's only got me so far in the first, what, 16, 17 episodes, whatever we've watched so far. Fantastic series. If you can get hold of it, watch it as soon as you can. I would highly recommend it. It is available online. I don't want to say where, in case the, the computers that run the entire spectrum right now hear my words and say, mm, we need to take care of that before this guy sees the end of the series. But again, before I finish off this episode, if you do know where you can get hold of the DVD box set in the UK, 
for Crazy Like a Fox, the TV show, 1984 to 85. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to get hold of that box set for my own personal collection. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. Stay safe, and I'll talk to you in the next one.